Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RFP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we are going to continue on in our brief series in which we are talking about the differences between traditional I.O. methods and some of the newer Ethernet-based I.O. communication methods. In our last video, we went into detail about what traditional I.O. is and how it works. We also talked about some of the advantages and disadvantages of using that type of I.O. method. If you have not already seen that video, we will link it in the description below. For the purpose of this video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the newer Ethernet-based I.O. control options. We will look at how this newer type of I.O. works, what is needed to use this type of setup, and of course, we will talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of using this type of I.O. communication method. As always, the information shared in this video is, in is intended to provide only a basic overview of this topic and should never take the place of proper electrical instruction. With that being said, let's take a closer look at Ethernet-based I.O. and why you might choose to use it instead of the more traditional setup. First and foremost, it is important to gain a basic understanding of why you might want to use an Ethernet-based I.O. setup in the first place. Ethernet communication is used all over the world today, ranging from our homes that provide basic internet service to complex networks in office buildings and industrial settings as well. Without getting into too much detail about how Ethernet-based communication works, what is important to understand is that by using Ethernet protocols, you have the ability to send and receive large amounts of data very quickly, which is one of the reasons we use it so much and in so many different areas of our lives. For years and years, traditional I.O. wiring methods have been used in industrial control scenarios and they will continue to be used well into the future. However, over the past several years, Ethernet-based I.O. control systems have become more common and are gaining traction because, because of some of the new benefits that they can offer. Because Ethernet communication can transmit and receive large amounts of data by utilizing this method in regards to I.O. control and feedback, you eliminate the need for large amounts of wiring and hardware that is used in more traditional methods. For example, in a scenario where there are hundreds of I.O. points of all kinds that are being used, discrete, analog, and others, there would be large amounts of wire that need to be run all over to each individual point where data needs to be collected. All of this wire would then be run back to the PLC cabinet to be terminated to hundreds of terminal points. This requires a lot of time and labor. However, using the same scenario, but instead of using the traditional I.O. methods, you decide to use Ethernet-based communication, the amount of time and money that can be saved can be significant. Instead of having to run hundreds of wires, you might only need to run a handful of Ethernet cables to the various instruments, motor starters, and other pieces of hardware in your system. You will still be able to collect all of the same information, but with much less effort and hardware required. On top of the traditional information you might expect, by using Ethernet-based communication, you can often receive much more information than if you were only using traditional methods. This added information can be very helpful in determining how your environment is functioning and allows for much more control and adjustment to your system through Ethernet communications. So while some of the advantages are obvious, less wire, less insulation, less labor, and more data that can be communicated, etc., there are some disadvantages to using this type of I.O. communication. The main disadvantage is infrastructure. In order to be able to communicate with all of your I.O. in your system using this method, each piece of hardware needs to be designed to do so. While newer hardware might offer this type of communication, older hardware will not. And in some cases, it is still not possible to get certain kinds of hardware that have this communication ability, although that list is shrinking every day. 
With that said, it is typically new construction scenarios that are beginning to utilize this type of I.O. configuration. This is because the hardware can be procured with an Ethernet communication plan in place right from the get-go. It is very difficult to implement this type of communication on a retrofit or older infrastructure, at least on a larger scale. So while the benefits of using this type of I.O. communication are awesome, it will be a long time before we see it being used everywhere simply due to the infrastructure that needs to be in place and also because of the slower adoption of this type of communication in more critical areas that rely on security and reliability. However, by understanding this method and many of the benefits it can bring can help prepare you for what is coming now and well into the future. For a full line of industrial communications equipment, as well as thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.